y'all, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Natasha and we discuss organizing, cleaning, and occasionally I do DIY projects. Today I want to talk about Grove Collaborative. I will be doing an unboxing. I have yet to actually dive into my box. I opened it only because my box came a little damaged and I was concerned that something spilled out in it, but nothing has. So I'm excited to see what all I got. I ordered it a week ago, so I've kind of forgotten some of the things I've ordered. I did get five free products off of a link that I followed through Facebook, and I had to spend $20, I believe. I spent way more than that, I think. Um, there was a few products that I had seen in other videos and had heard about from other people, and I wanted to try those products. I don't get them at my, my commissary or my local Target. A lot of the times they're sold out, or they have like the same scents over and over and I'd like to try something different. The only product I have personally bought from my own home um, on the eco-friendly side is Method. And the only one I've bought was the Lavender Scent Multipurpose Cleaner and I absolutely love it. Um, I did however buy some of the toilet cleaners from Method and the glass cleaners and such like that for a friend as a gift and when I smelled them they were so good and I really never noticed how bad the chemical smell was in a lot of my other products like 409 and Windex um, some of the degreasers I use I just the smell was just choking and when you clean your bathroom I used to use like the scrubbing bubbles and all that stuff and like there's no ventilation in your bathroom so you're just choking on all these chemicals and it just you start to realize they're really bad for you like they have to be so a long time ago I switched to using vinegar and blue dawn when cleaning my bathroom and it did a world of difference for how I clean up in them. I'd spend more time in there I'd clean it I would do my thing but then when you leave it doesn't really have like a, a delicious smell it's just clean and that's always okay but as a woman I tend to think that we I am drawn to this the smells of things when things smell delicious you just want to be around it like I love cleaning my home and seeing it shiny and bright and then just also you walk in and people are like wow your house smells great I'm like yes thank God I have a giant dog you can't smell him I also have a cat with a litter box and you can't smell it I love that feeling now when I first started to look into Grove Collaborative my first thought was how much does it cost to join and I'm very very picky about having to spend a lot of money to get a product I can get at my store like I use Amazon and I get a lot of products through them but I started to realize a long time ago that a lot of the products that you think you're getting a bargain on they're actually cheaper in store you can get coupons you can do all kinds of stuff there's always a way to find a bargain and for me that is key so when I went on it's only $19.95 and I believe that's for a year I could be wrong but I'm only doing the 60-day trial for right now just to check it out and to see if the products are worth it and to see how well the packages come each time. And then after that, I'll think about keeping on going with it. But I really think this is going to be the key for me because I can't find these products at my local store. And for me, a good cleaning product just makes me want to clean. Um, I've had this box for a week and it has been killing me not to pull the stuff out and clean with it. I did do a lot of cleaning this weekend and I... <laughs> It was everything in me that I couldn't get into this box, but it's been storming like crazy here and the lighting is just terrible. And today it's still not the best, but I wanted to get some cleaning done. I'm really trying to get my kitchen reorganized and decluttered, which I will be filming that and I will be putting a video up for it. So if you want to join on with that, I'll review some of these products and do an ultimate clean with me and declutter. Um, there's another, my bathrooms. I ordered a bunch of bathroom products because I can't seem to get my bathrooms to just smell good and stay clean and something about it. I, I have two and a half baths and it's a lot of work for me sometimes going up and down the stairs. I have a five month old daughter so in between my cleaning things I tend to forget to do certain things like clean the toilets order but these products are supposed to be super easy to use. They get the job done. You don't have to wait around for things to sit. So I'm really excited to try them so this week I'll be uploading um, organiza organization of my three bathrooms and my kitchen and I'm gonna do an ultimate clean with both of those and it'll be two separate videos because I don't have time to do it all in one day um, and I'm hoping that I can get them put up this week we will see 
it's been raining like crazy, like I said, and I don't want to film in bad lighting because that's just, no one wants to watch that. Okay, so a couple things when I was researching Grove Collaborative is they're eco-friendly, and that's one of those huge things from my home. Like I said, I have a daughter, and for me, one of the biggest pet peeves I have is one day she's going to put her mouth on something, and what if there's lots of chemicals on it? And... I just, I don't want her to digest that. I wanna make sure it's sanitized, I wanna make sure it's clean, but I don't wanna use harsh chemicals to get to that goal. And also, a lot of the products come in recyclable bottles and things like that, so you can recycle it and you're not destroying the environment at the same time. And that's another key for me. I want to make this planet better so my daughter has somewhere great to live. Don't we all want that? And uh, so that's exciting. Also, I found out that their paper products are actually made from bamboo and when you buy a certain percentage of them, or when people in general who order from this company buy a certain percentage, they plant trees. So one, they're not using trees, and two, they're replanting trees. So win-win, right? I, however, did not order any paper products this time because I am stocked up. We went to Sam's Club here recently, and I bought, God forbid, some paper products that are destroying trees. I will, however, be trying some of the paper products because I would like to see the difference and see if I even like them because I'm not, I've never used bamboo products, um, but it's kind of exciting to know that I, I could and I'm not killing trees. Now, um, it does say on the site that it takes four to five days to get your box. And for me, being an Amazon person or someone who can run out to the store, that does seem a little excessive for me, but it typically says it takes 48 hours. But since they've had such a high demand and now a lot of people are joining up on this, they're kind of falling behind on their orders, which is fine because I've seen some of the unboxings and they're so hands-on with their packaging and so hands-on. I got text messages, I've gotten emails, and, and here there's a card that's like thanking me for my um, being a customer and choosing them. And it was just, it felt so friendly and not just like a regular old company you just join. You know, they, they want to be hands-on. You can ask them things anytime you want to. And that to me is that personal touch that just makes it important to want to join the company. I do want to go ahead and start opening this box and I will talk a little bit more about the company as I open some of the products. Um, let's get started. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this for so long. I've had this box in my house for a week, like I said, and it has been killing me. I can smell the products without even having to open the box. Now the packaging is the first thing I would like to talk about. It is so cute. Like I already know what it is when I get it and it's, super adorable um they have inside it's super well packed can you guys see that and it has my packing list right on top so i know what comes in the box i can check it and there it is and it came with this cute card and i think it's super adorable um it's signed by john i'm not sure who john is but he's obviously the person who packed my box so let's take a look at the card. I've already destroyed the envelope. I'm terrible at opening mail. Um, let's see what we got in here. Oh, hello, beautiful home. How cute is that card? It kind of says quite a bit on here, but it's pretty much welcoming me to the company. And I think that is super sweet. Like, I do have questions about the company. I do have questions about some products because I have not used a lot of different clean products besides the things you get from like your local store. But going chemical free is so important to me now and it would be really cool to just discuss some of the products and understand how some of them work. Um, a couple ones I do want to start trying is Mrs. Meyer's Method. I would like to try Caldrea, but the scents are titled so, I guess, fancy that I'm not really sure what they're going to smell like. So it's really hard for me to pick something. So I haven't ordered any of that stuff yet. And the candles. Ugh. I haven't done that yet either, but I would like to. This first order was just a, a simple order of just things I kind of needed around the house. So let's get started. Okay, first things first. I did hear about these brushes. I've seen them a lot in a lot of videos, and I would like to try them because I, I get really grossed out by sponges, and I do use sponges, but as, I don't know, pregnancy, I feel like kind of just, just made me disgusted with germs and textures and things. And I don't know, I'm just super excited to try this. And I'm hoping that it is good on my pans and stuff because I really don't use harsh things on my pans. I don't use scrubby pads or anything just because I don't like to scratch them. But this is, they it said that this was removable and it could be 
for you. So you keep the, I'm not sure how to remove it. I don't know if I really want to. Oh, super easy, just like that. So this is removable, so you can buy the new inserts. So you don't have to buy a new brush every time. But isn't this gorgeous? It's just like a cute little wood, and it's like, it's nice. I really like it, good quality. Um, what's next? I did get, oh, this, this came free. This is one of the free items I got. Um, I got some free walnut scrubbers. Um, oh, that glass spray bottle that you see a lot. Um, I decided to get one. Let's see if I can open it. Um, I want to try to use this for my bathroom because right now I use one of those disposable like dish sponges that have like the tube in it. And I put my Dawn dish soap and my vinegar in it and I just scrub my, my bathtub and shower in there when I'm showering. It saves me so much time. But I have noticed that it does take um, a long time for the, the soap to come through to the sponge. It drives me crazy. So I'm hoping to be able to make the mixture in this and use it in my bathroom. I had saw on another channel that I'm not sure who, but said they used this um, and used it to spray their shower. And I think that's such a great idea. It's got a little condensation. It must be pretty cold in my, my house. Um, but yeah, it's glass, it's good quality. It actually feels really good. Cause I do have some plastic spray bottles and it seems like I always, always, always break this. So I'm super excited about this. And I love the silicone bottom. So you're not just like smacking the glass on the counter. Cause let's face it, I get crazy when I clean. Oh doesn't go back in. Let's move on. Okay. See, I love this touch. Nothing's gonna spill out, it's fantastic. And this is the Method Glassless Surface, which I have not used. I have seen a couple reviews on it. Some say it streaks and some say it works great. So I'm excited to try it out. It is mint, I believe, yeah, mint. So let's smell it. I don't know how I feel about mint being on. Yeah, it smells like mint. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I'm sure it'll smell clean. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. I want that clean, I don't know, crisp cleanness. I love crisp cleanness. Okay, and this is the Method anti back Bathroom Cleaner, and it's in Spearmint. So I'm gonna have a very minty bathroom, I, I have a feeling. Um, and I always feel weird like smelling their products. I do it in the store. I'm like, that's gotta be terrible. But they're plant-based. They're not full of chemicals. So sniff away. Oh, that's wonderful. I like that spearmint. Yes. Okay, what do we have next? I feel like we're on a, a mint track right now. Okay, so this is the Method Heavy Duty Degreaser. And I want to try this because when I moved into this house, um, we rent and the previous renters, I guess, cooked with a lot of grease and my cabinets, I have been trying for so long to just get through all the grease that they left behind. And it may sound disgusting, but I've been here for, I think nine months now. And I still just can't seem to get through the amount of grease that's stuck on my cabinets and around my microwave and it's just it's awful and also they kind of destroy the top of our stove and there's stuff stuck on it and i've used like barkeeper's friend and a couple other things like that and it has gotten most of it off but i would like to try something new and i've heard that this is a great product and it cuts through grease so i'm really excited and it's a lemongrass scent and i haven't been able to find this at my store oh that's very relaxing i really like that it smells like lemongrass reminds me of the essential oil. Um, next, I got the Method Daily Shower Natural Drive Shower Cleaner, Eucalyptus and Mint. And um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I don't typically use chemicals or not really chemicals, but like cleaners to clean my my bathtub. Um, but I want to try and give it a try, see if it works better than my vinegar and blue dawn mixture because I love using it, everything comes up sparkly, it's clean, I know it, it cuts through the scum. Um, but, oh, that is amazing. They, they just smell so clean. I can really smell the eucalyptus in this, so it's not very minty like the other products were. Um, but it smells very, it's very calm and uh, clean. 
Also, I think this is the last product I have for my bathroom, and it's the Method Anti-Back Toilet um, Cleaner, and it's in Spearmint. Again, bathrooms, oh, it is a little um, sticky, like it might have leaked. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a little scummy. I think some of the product came out, so that's not good. But it smells good. Um, it smells just like the other Spearmint. I don't like that it's on my hand. Um, that's a little disappointing. Let's see. We're coming to the last few products. Um, I did get the wood cleaner. This is the Method wood cleaner. And I got it because I was getting tired of using End Dust and Pledge. It's taking the um, stain off a lot of my furniture and it just, I just feel like it does a good enough clean. It just kind of leaves a little of a, like a greasy film. And I don't, I know I'm supposed to give it that shine, but to me it just feels greasy and I don't really care for it. And this isn't an almond scent. I don't really, I didn't know it was scented. I just assumed it was a wood cleaner. Ooh, it smells like almond extract almost to the tea, but it's, it smells, I don't know, it just doesn't smell like that, that lemon scent. And there's stuff all over this too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's, so maybe something did leak in here. I just didn't notice it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of these products out just so I can see what's in the bottom of the box just to see if I have anything that might have spilt out. Yeah, something must have because in the inside of my box, there is like major stain of something. So something did spill out. I'm just not sure what. And I'm starting to think it might have been this because it, it all kind of smells like, yeah, I think it was the, it is exactly what that is. Okay, so I know it spilled, um, and next time, and it was the only thing, no, it had tape on it. Okay, anyway, let's move on. Um, now, the free products I got, which I see that I'm missing one as well. Okay, so I was supposed to get, I got the dish soap, which was in pumpkin, the hand soap that was in pumpkin, and it was also supposed to come with the multi-surface cleaner, and pumpkin. Now this is all the Mrs. Myers products and it was said I was supposed to get those three free plus the sponges and the um, dish brush. Now I didn't seem to get that so I will be contacting John and letting him know that it seemed to be missing from my order. I didn't really check the packaging label so that was probably my fault but I know when I clicked on the link it showed that those three products were in a Grove tin and I didn't spend enough to get the Grove tin. Um, they wanted me to spend, I, th I can't remember what it was. I was like $17 away from it and I already spent like 30 something. And I just, I didn't really want to spend more than that because it was my first time ordering and I wasn't gonna be sure if I was gonna like the company. So I didn't get the stuff I wanted yet, but I will find out and I will actually give you guys um, an update once I contact them and see what happened and let them know that something linked in my box. This is the pumpkin scent dish soap. I'm very curious. I don't know, I, I really can't, maybe it's just my nose, I really can't smell it. Let's try the hand soap. And I love the cute little packaging because if you see it, they have like the pumpkins and stuff. And I noticed that a lot of their Mrs. Myers have different, because I also got the rosemary scent in the hand soap and they always have like different packaging. So I love that they added the the fall touch to this because I have started decorating my house for fall and I want it to kind of flow through each room. Okay, yes, I can smell the pumpkin and it's not overly potent of pumpkin, so I do like that. It's kind of like a mild um, pumpkin spice without that like rich spice behind it. So I do like this. I will let you know on my next video how I felt once I actually used it. Um, like I said, I also got the rosemary scented and then they had a limited edition that just came out only through growth of the compassion flowers i don't know if you can see that compassion flowers hand soap and i had no clue what compassion flowers would smell like but i have oh that's delicious it just reminds me of like a bath bomb a very floral bath bomb i'm excited to put this in my spare bathroom i have a floral bathroom and this just seems to go really well with that theme. I typically do tend to, I just have to smell it again. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, well that's all that I got. So 
Just from unboxing, I will go ahead and give my honest review on it. I'm not gonna review the products today, but they do smell fantastic. I will give that as a review. Um, I am disappointed that my box came damaged. Um, I'm sad that one of my products spilled out. I, it's one of those things that I look forward to when ordering products online that they come the way they're supposed to. I don't really blame the company itself. I kind of just blame my postal system. I tend to always get damaged boxes and I feel like that's just something we have to deal with. I am upset that I was supposed to get my five free items. I only got four. I will let y'all know what they say after I contact them and let them know that it's missing from my box. I have a little assistant today. She woke up from her nap a little early. So she's here. So that's who you're hearing in the background. Say hi. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Are you excited to clean? She's typically with me throughout the day when I clean. We travel from each room, do a little playing, do a little breaks. Um, but yeah, back to this. I will go ahead and give a review on my next video of how I like the products. I will um, maybe give an update the next box that I get in and let you know whether it came the same or if I was missing products or if this is gonna be like a routine thing that happens every time I order because I hope not because I was I heard such great things about the company and everyone seems to have such an overwhelming positive um, experience and I'm a little sad that on my first box I did not um, but yeah overall I'm pretty satisfied I can't wait to clean today and have that well, I can't because I didn't get my spray. I was gonna say I have that overwhelming fall scent in my house because I've already lit candles, I've decorated, it's rainy outside. It's just the perfect day to smell a good Thanksgiving fall scent in the house. But I can't do that. So I will be cleaning today anyways, just cause it needs to be done. And I will let y'all know what I think. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I my dog just moved the, the tripod. Um, hit that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you guys on my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. I'm sorry y'all, this video is so long, but I wanted to go ahead and update y'all. I did contact the company and they were very apologetic and are sending me a new box containing the missing products and the two replacement back anti-back cleaners. They did offer to send a whole new box, but I felt that was a little excessive and I declined. My overall review of Broke Collaborative is positive and I look forward to ordering again. Thanks again for watching. See y'all next time. Bye.